that is what you will not do that is it should if anybody suggests it to you you tell them no now i have neck oh. i didn't have a neck I, I was too chubby there was no neck so i took a picture of some partners after that picture i looked back at, at it i'm like is that me i have lost about 5 kg plus and this is without any shortcuts this is just living a regular life nothing really changed <music> I'm going to be sharing with you how I lost over 5 kg and how to maintain a weight loss. So I feel that I personally got in the hack to this thing and I want to share it with you. In this video, you'll be getting any overnight methods or any heal or diet or whatever tricks. These are just simple life hacks that are proven scientifically that can help you lose weight and keep it off, okay? My name is Ade, there are a few videos around everything that will help improve the quality of our lives and I also particularly love perfumes, I've been in the perfume space for about 5 years and I have a lot of perfume videos as well so you can always check out my perfume content before you leave my channel Do well to subscribe because I like you already, okay? <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about weight loss and how to keep the weight off forever so I'll be inserting pictures of my journey so far. I wasn't actively documenting it because I'm trying to make it a lifestyle and I'm not yet at my dream, you know, goal. But I want to show you how I've been able to get this weight off. This is the easiest I've been able to lose weight and the easiest method for me to keep following, which is even leading to my first point. First point to lose weight and keep it off is to make it a lifestyle and not just for a period. You can no longer set a goal to lose X amount of kg in X amount of time. Okay, I'm trying to lose weight for my birthday. I'm trying to lose weight for December for this, but no, you can no longer do that. After watching this video, it is going to haunt you you are no longer doing that just know this is how i like to look and you're working towards it whenever that time comes great so no pressure no pressure on yourself no pressure on your lifestyle no pressure on what you do what you eat how you you know no pressure so your goals will shift from i'm trying to lose 10 kg to i'm trying to work out twice a week for one month and when i've built momentum there i'm going to work out three times a week for the next month and on and on and on that's how it has to be so now the workout thing is relative you can easily do home workouts like you have no excuse whatsoever during the lockdown the rise of home workouts became you just quadrupled okay so there are so many home workouts that you can do okay so you're not trying to lose a certain kg what you're now trying to do is what you have control over how many times you would work out in a week okay so it's, it just gives you a different uh, mental shift on approaching it okay the second one now is you're going to move your dinner up gradually i am someone who eats dinner in the morning <laughs> my dinner is 1 a.m my dinner is 2 a.m because i can stay up late i work my own hours so i can be working till 3 a.m sometimes i'm up the whole night so i eat anytime <laughs> now you're going to move your dinner upwards because it's just better it's just better okay you're moving your dinner from 10 p.m to 9 p.m okay and you're going to do that for like one month or two weeks or three weeks and the next goal for you will be to move it from 9 p.m to 8 p.m and you're going to do that till you're comfortable with it then you move it upwards and move it upwards and move it upwards that way your last meal is early enough that you don't sleep with a heavy stomach the reason is if you give your body so much food when you are not active that food is going to be converted to anything else but energy okay you are sleeping that food is converted to fat and it's going to store in your stomach <laughs> it's going to store in your tummy okay so no late night meals we're going to gradually moving it bit by bit by bit by bit the advanced type of this is as you're moving your dinner upwards you're also moving your breakfast downwards it means that instead of taking breakfast 8 a.m 
you know sugar rush you're very hungry you're shaking you move it 8 30 you move it nine o'clock and all so you're just closing your eating window you don't need to do anything aggressive the scientific term for it would be intermittent fasting but we're not giving it any term because we are trying to build a sustainable lifestyle to lose weight and maintain the weight loss so we're just going to try to see how best we can collapse our eating window nothing aggressive nothing aggressive if you cannot collapse your morning because you're a morning person just focus on the night time the third way now is for you to be casual about the gym now before i explain this it is important that you save this video so that you can come back and review it after three months after you know just at interval so what do i mean by staying casual with the gym the point i'm trying to make is that you know when you get to the gym the first time you're at the gym and you're doing a whole one hour exercise and the trainer is saying you can do it you can do it go 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 and by the time you are done you are dead exhausted and you don't want to go back there that is what you will not do that is you should if anybody suggests it to you you tell them no today i am coming to check out the gym and i'm spending 20 minutes and that 20 minutes or 30 minutes i'm just going to be on the treadmill i'm going to be walking i won't even be running you're going to do that twice in a week then the next time you're at the gym you you know challenge yourself because you start to get more energy you're excited because you did the little ones you're excited you try you know a bit more intense and you, okay now do for five minutes at the gym and you do it two times a week or you do it three times a week and then you build up the muscle to do 60 minutes at the gym and you do that four times a week and then you go enough stamina to do it five times a week you are on fire now you are down the proper proper gym rats at this level if you find out that you're hating the gym right now it's because you are doing the hard stuff people are pressuring you to join the class of people who have been at the gym for six months before you no 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 no! i just came tell them i just came tell them i said so i just came and i'm i'm starting with the easy stuff when you are carrying 10 kg 5 kg i am carrying just 1 kg if you like laugh that's your i will not kill myself <laughs> okay you're just going to take it easy be casual about it but be intentional about increasing your intensity over time the fourth point is very interesting and you have no idea how this will change a lot of the ways that you see food fourth one is to start watching healthy food recipes like there are a lot of healthy food recipes on youtube here and on instagram and the rest start looking for healthy food channels healthy food anything healthy and start watching them and start you know consuming that type of content you'll find out that you are only limited by the food choices that you have because you don't know more than what you know do you get there are just a lot of options that when i started finding out these options i became more excited try out different meals okay there are so much options they don't necessarily cost more for example the oatmeal that i've just talked about is everywhere you take it normally but now you are now seeing different ways to make cookies to make um, pancakes to make um, pudding overnight oats to make parfaits like different things you just didn't know about them so when you start watching these recipes they would subconsciously start influencing your monthly shopping so this month you are going to okay i feel like buying granola because granola was never in your list though it was never in your list because you were always buying gala and one uh, funny drink you're not trying out new recipes interestingly i just found out how to make chia seeds and pudding and i was so shocked that chia seeds really look nice and edible like that so you find out new recipes and you start trying them and you would find out that you're gradually replacing your traditional meals that have not served you in the past the last point i want to share with you to help you lose weight and keep it off is you have to enjoy eating you have to start loving food 
and enjoying food. This will help you be more conscious of what is worth consuming. For example, because you now enjoy food, you start eating mindfully. You won't be eating some random snack and watching TV and when you finish the snack, you don't even know that you have eaten and you are still looking for more food, you know. And that way you just keep eating without even knowing you finish a bottle of granules. You know, all those <laughs> funny ways that we just find ourselves to keep eating but when you enjoy food you know that okay I have this meal to consume and you are enjoying the flavors in the food and you are seeing how these meals are serving you you know all of all those things help you take in more calories than you can burn out for that day so start enjoying your meals ladies so guys I've shared five tips to help you lose weight in 2023 and keep the weights at bay okay let me know which of these tips you'll be trying out which of them is like a light bulb moment for you and let's do it guys let's lose this weight off let it not be our headache you know that every year we come back to this thing called weight loss and we're struggling <laughs> with it i really love streaming this video i can't wait to see you next week bye for now